vignette number 41 from Zen is right here, teaching stories and anecdotes of Shunju Suzuki. Now and then, Suzuki Roshi would make this point. In the Lotus Sutra, Buddha says to light up one corner, not the whole world, just make it clear where you are. That's from Jokshu Bill Kwong, Sonkochi, uh, around 1965. Note, this book was originally published by Broadway Books under the title To Shine One Corner of the World, Moments with Shunju Suzuki. Uh, it uh, was picked up. It went out of print and I didn't do anything about it for a while. And then I got hold of Sam Burkholz who founded Shambhala, and he went, great. And so now we have it, and we have the sequel to it coming out next year. Name as yet decided, I've suggested one, but we'll see. This phrase in Japan is associated with Saicho, the founder of Tendai Buddhism. And I learned that from Peter Schneider. Here, I'll read you something. Here's a note I have on the Zen is Right Here page. When Peter Schneider learned that to shine one corner of the world was going to be used for the original name of the book, he objected. Peter and his wife Jane lived for 22 years in Japan, and he said that that phrase was associated with Tendai Buddhism and shouldn't be attributed to Suzuki. I thought a lot of what he said was from sources in Japanese culture and religion, and it was a little late to make any changes. The Tendai connection isn't acknowledged, but it's also not attributed to Suzuki. Yeah, it's from the Lotus Sutra. From the book, the title of this book is a well-known phrase from the Lotus Sutra attributed to Shakyamuni Buddha. Suzuki referred to it on a number of occasions, usually translating it as to light up one corner or to shine one corner. Suzuki often played with words, and his use of the word shine that day may have been a whimsical substitution. It lends itself to various interpretations, as do many of the encounters in this book. All right, here's something else on it. This is um, a note for uh, Shine from uh, John Nelson's paper, John K. Nelson, uh, a University of San Francisco professor. Uh, he's talking about a 1,200-year commemoration of the founding of Tendai. The Tendai sect is the oldest sect of Buddhism in Japan. It was observed in 2006. Its theme emphasized how each person could follow special precepts established by Saicho, the founder of Tendai Buddhism. The second campaign is one that has been functioning since 1969 for over 40 years, the Light Up Your Corner of the World, Ichigo Terasu, movement. The section chief said that this will develop a more spiritual society with concern for others and volunteer activities stemming from our Buddha nature and a feeling of plentitude. He went on to note how the phrase Ichigo Torasu has been adopted by schools and businesses that have nothing to do with Tendai, but which want to promote the idea of happiness for oneself and others. This is a quote. This is Tenzai's way of being socially engaged with society. Yeah, Peter said, that phrase is over the entrance to a school near where we live. So I searched for one corner in the uh, Shunyu Suzuki Lecture Archive, 
which I have all as one file that I, I keep open uh, on my laptop most of the time. And uh, you can make one too by going to shunyusuzuki.com and you'll get the latest uh, version of the what we call the de default archive, which is uh, the verbatim uh, are the closest to verbatim. There are 13 times when uh, the phrase one corner comes up and all but one have to do with this with this usage, shine one corner, light one corner. I'm going to read from, uh, I'm going to read an excerpt from each of those examples. A little bit of honey is enough for us. There is no need to be greedy. If it is true, a little bit of truth, a faint idea of truth is enough, and you should devote yourself to the truth. You should devote yourself to the truth you have, that you saw completely. Then you will find out the true meaning of the truth. It is not a matter of which is good or bad. It's a matter of whether you devote yourself to the truth completely or not. This kind of idea is very special to Japanese culture or Oriental culture. In the Lotus Sutra, Buddha said to light up just one corner. One corner, not the whole world. Just to make clear, to make clear just where you are. Ichigu o Terasu. Ichigu is one corner. Terasu is to light up or to shine one corner. This is a very valuable point. An important point in our practice. It does not mean to be negative or narrow-minded or sectarian. It is a way it should be, and everything exists in that way. Exa here's another example of him using it in a lecture. Buddhists, you know, respect tradition, uh, you may say, but there's some reason why we respect tradition. The ancient Bodhisattva's way was always beyond our reach, almost. And they are always encouraging us, not only because they have done great things, but also they were not afraid of anything. They were not afraid of poverty or death or failure. They found joy in failure, in poverty, and in doing some small things. Uh, with You know the famous words in the Lotus Sutra, to shine one corner of the world? Just, you know, it's enough to shine one corner of the room. That is enough. And here he says, My teacher, Kishizawa Roshi, after we cleaned the room, he came in and inspected it. And it was rather difficult to clean up uh, everything perfectly. I'm, I'm paraphrasing because uh, this needs to be edited. So sometimes we miss some things. So uh, he wouldn't say anything. Ichigo wa turasu, you know, to shine one corner of the room. <laughs> In the Lotus Sutra also, there's a famous bodhisattva who used to bow to everyone he met. He bowed to everyone. You may think that's very foolish, but that is bodhisattva mind. I don't know how that follows, but each person is one corner of the world, right? How about that? And the last example of him using it is, in everyday activity, you should be concentrated on what you do. Or in other words, you, sh you should greet people as if you're reciting a sutra with a feeling of care and of respect, thinking they're all Buddhas. And sometimes your boss or friend may not understand what you're doing, but even though they don't understand, you should practice in your own way with big mind in city life, in this world. It is a big world. You know, wherever you go, people need you. If you have the right spirit, people need you. Without you, 
their life doesn't make any sense. So we say to shine one corner of the world, one corner, just one corner. So if you know you shine one corner, then people around you will feel better. So it's a great uh, phrase. It has a great message. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, the, the book's name was changed, but it doesn't matter. So let's all continue to shine one corner of the world. This has been a Cuke Audio mini podcast. I'm D.C. Puba of Cuke Audio and Cuke Archives, coming to you from Sleepy Sanur with Dog at Bandita, Feline Cuchita, and dear lovely Katrinka. Oh yeah, and the roosters and birds and occasional barking dog outside whom I leave the window open for to hear the Dharma. And we're all wishing you and yours and all of us a grand awakening. Thank you.